What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and uh, if you are, oh my god dude, I feel like I have something stuck in my throat. If you are having a great day, I would really appreciate you pressing that like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam. You will actually be teleported to Narnia and be forced to fight for the Wicked Witch in Narnia. And I'm pretty sure she took an L, so uh, it's a guaranteed L. So I would press the like button to avoid being forced to take an L in Narnia. Anyways, guys, today I'm gonna be telling a story from back in the day when I worked at a grocery store. You guys always seem to, like, really enjoy these videos, okay? I don't really know what to title this, to be honest, because it's just a weird situation. Basically, some dude in a lifted truck, like, tried to fight a grandma because he parked in one of those, you know, handicap spots, and she was like, I need to park there because I can't walk, and he tried to fight her. Yeah, you know, just a typical day at work. Uh, everybody shows up, and for minimum wage, you have to stop a roid-raging maniac from fighting a grandma, no harm, no foul, you know, that's just how it is. <clears throat> it's, it's so good, it's not good. Nice rack in her ass, Brazilian, just turned 21, but my bank's a million, swear I'm a little drunk, but it's a hell of a feeling. Anyways, yeah, guys, my first job way back when was working at a grocery store. I'm sure most of you know that. And, like, one thing that really sucked about a job, my least favorite part of the job was having to push the carts uh, during the day. So, like, obviously, whenever you go grocery shopping, you use the shopping carts, and then, uh, you know, you'll go out into the street, and you'll load your carts, or your cart into your car, yeah, and then you're supposed to go put them in the corrals. Well, like, it was my job to go to the corrals and push all the carts in, and pushing, you know, 20 carts at a time in hot weather is just not a fun time. And what really sucks is when people would leave their carts all over the place, all right? Like, listen, if you're gonna go to the grocery store, please just do me a favor when you're done and put your cart back in, like, the little corral thing, Okay, because having to chase down the cart that you know housewife Susan didn't want to walk 10 feet to put away that rolls and smacks into somebody else's car So now I have to explain to somebody why their car has a dent in it. It's like just not fun But regardless being out on the parking lot was like the crappiest job and for whatever reason I had a couple managers that didn't like me So whenever they would be in charge I would basically be on the parking lot all day and like one day it was towards the end of the summer So it was cooling down a little bit, but it was still probably 90 95 degrees Hot enough where I was definitely sweating pushing all these carts in I had been out on the parking lot for maybe like three hours now So, you know, I'm just dehydrated and annoyed and like over it. I'm sweating a crap ton I've had to push all these carts in my arms hurt like it's just not a good time after being out here for three hours straight The last thing I want to do is deal with anything, you know and uh, I was down on like the other end of the parking lot and I'm coming back towards the front of like the store that I worked at and there was obviously the handicapped parts or the spots at the front of the store. You don't put them in the back. It's not like, you know, a trick to trick people in wheelchairs and a parking at the back of the parking lot so that way you like, ah, get tough and walk in. No, handicapped spots are obviously at the front of the store. So I'm kind of like walking back towards the front of the store and I see in one of the handicapped spots is one of those trucks that's like obnoxiously lifted, you know? One of those trucks that's lifted so high it's like on the verge of just being able to be blown over by the wind and like it's lifted so high you could probably honestly stand underneath it as it drove over you so I'm like wow. That's kind of a weird car for somebody that's disabled to drive because like dude You basically need a rope ladder to climb into the driver's seat So I don't know how grandma's getting in her wheelchair by like dropping down a three-foot drop from the cab of her truck So I walk around towards like the front and sure enough There's no handicap thing there like there's nothing there So I go inside to tell my manager hey you need to go on the intercom and be like whoever parked in the handicap spot That's not handicapped you got to move because you know, people who can't walk have to park at the front of the store, not people in lifted trucks. So, I walk in and there's like an old lady in a wheelchair also at the front of the store talking to the manager. And I walk up and I go, hey, there's a truck in the handicap spot. And the old lady's like, oh, see, at least somebody else noticed I was trying to park and I couldn't because all the other handicap spots are taken. So, here's this old lady in a wheelchair that like can't park now, had to roll in from the back of the parking lot in the heat, just... Just not vibing, you know? All because a homeboy here just really felt like parking his super lifted monster truck in front of the store. So my manager gets on, like, the intercom and says, Will the owner of the giant monster truck please come move it? Like, you're not handicapped, you can't park in that spot. And is very chill. Isn't like, Hey, whatever jerk parked in the handicapped spot, please come move your truck or we're gonna make it explode. It's pretty calm and just says, Hey, can you come to the front of the store and move it? So we're standing there waiting for like a minute, two minutes, three minutes, and out of nowhere, this very angry looking bro with like Oakley sunglasses on, the backwards fitted cap, in the tank top, like, 
walks over angry. He's like, is, that, are, is this where you guys were making that announcement about the truck? And uh, the manager is like, yeah, you know, we just need you to move it. Uh, you're not handicapped. And he's like, do you have any idea how much that truck costs? Which, I mean, it's just a really bad argument because, like, dog, it doesn't matter how much your car costs if you're making old ladies who can't walk, like, have to make the journey from the back of the parking lot to the front of the store. And I know I'm making that sound dramatic. Like, a couple of you are like, who cares, dude, if they have to wheel in from the back of the parking lot. But... This parking lot was huge and also had a very gnarly hill on it. So, like, low-key, Grandma definitely could have gone X Games mode. Like, going downhill in that wheelchair definitely would have been sketch. It was just a, a slanted parking lot. So, I can understand why Grandma definitely was not comfortable going, like, Mach 10 downhill, you know? Like, freestyle style in her wheelchair to get to the grocery store. I can understand why she wouldn't be down for that. So, whatever. He's like, you have any idea how much that truck costs? And, you know, my manager says something very understandable and says, no. And, frankly, it doesn't matter because it's illegal to park in handicapped spots if you're not handicapped. We could have had your car towed, but instead we called and made an announcement in order to save you the money and the time. So, will you go move it? And he's like... Oh, you think that you could have my car towed? Like, you think you could have my car towed? That thing is a beast, dude. There is no way that any tow truck would be able to get my super sick lifted truck into the back of its bed, dude. Like, it's just not happening. That's his argument. It's not that he's being a jerk for not moving his truck. It's not apologizing to the old lady. No, no, no. He is saying that his truck is, in fact, so sick that it can't get towed, which is why he deserves to park in handicap spots because no one can do anything about it, which is like... Just a really dumb argument. Yo, you know, um, technically, uh, it is wrong to sell kindergartners Adderall, but, like, listen, hear me out. No one's gonna stop me, so why does it matter? Like, there are some things you just shouldn't do. So, whatever, the old lady croaks up at this point and is like, well, I had to come in from the back of the parking lot, and, you know, it just would have been easier if I could park in the front. You should be considerate of other people. And, dude, this guy, like, this douche canoe with the tank top that's, like, you know, all roided out, looks at this sweet old grandma that's just sitting there saying, hey, please be considerate and remember that some people can't walk, you know, like, just a pretty common sense argument. And he looks at this old lady and he goes, well, I mean, you got in the store, didn't you? Like, dude, imagine parking your super lifted truck that's super expensive in, like, in a handicap spot of all places. And then some old lady, some old lady who can't walk pulls up, right? And is like, hey, can you just be more considerate next time? And you look at her and go, whatever, grandma, you rolled in here in your wheelchair anyways, you old sea hag. Looks like everything is fine. And I just have a really soft spot in my heart for old ladies, okay? My grandma, my oma, it's German for grandma. Like, she really raised me, you know? Like, I, I love her to death. She's, like, my favorite person in the world. So, you know, I, I will usually let people be mean to most people. Like, I don't really care, dude. If you're gonna be mean to my manager, that sucks anyways. Like, eh, whatever. But, like, don't be mean to nice old ladies because that's just rude. Old ladies are a special breed of niceness. I'm not into gilfs or anything, all right? I just think they're cool to hang out with. Old ladies are very nice. I don't want to date them. So I'm kind of like, all right, dude, chillax, come on. Like, don't yell at the old lady, you know? I'm not even trying to fight him. And now he gets up in my face and he's like, what, bro? You trying to scrap, bro? Like, what? You got a problem? And like, dude, yes, I kind of do have a problem with you yelling at an old lady. But, you know, this guy's a lot bigger than me. I'm like, look, I don't want to fight you. Just, you don't need to be rude to her. She's being nice to you. Which, I mean, is just fair. Like, if someone's treating you nicely, you don't have to threaten to fight grandma. And he's like... Whatever, you're lucky that, you know, I don't smack everybody here for disrespecting me. Like, I'm just trying to buy groceries. I don't even know why it matters. I was almost done shopping. And so, at this point, my manager is annoyed, and she's like, well, you can go put all your items back because I'm not letting you check out at my store. Like, you have to leave now, you know? You're threatening to beat up my workers. You're, like, parking in the handicapped spot. You're getting mad at old ladies and being like, whatever, you old sea hag, get used to it. Learn how to walk again, idiot. Like, come on, dude. Like, she's like, you're banned from here. Don't come back. And, uh, angry douchebag with the lifted truck response to people being like, go and don't come back, to being like, do you know who my dad is? Which is arguably the only thing that could sound any douchier than he already has so far. Like, do you know who my dad is? No. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter who your dad is. It just doesn't give you the right to, like, you know, park in the handicapped spot and yell at old people who need it. Like, that's just... That literally sounds like one of those things where you'd be like, yeah, you know, I'm not a horrible person. Like, I'm not going to yell at people after I park in a handicapped spot, like, as a joke. You don't actually think people could be that stupid. So he starts talking about who his dad is, and he's like, my dad, you know, works for the police department, which I also don't understand. Like, dog, you just got banned from a grocery store. What is your dad going to do? Come, like, arrest everyone for not letting his son shop at the grocery store? And, like... 
Didn't this all start because you broke the law? Hey, Dad, listen, I parked in the handicapped spot. I know that's illegal because I'm not handicapped, but uh, can you go ahead and just SWAT raid this grocery store and make sure to blow up all the bananas? That way they can't sell them anymore. Like, I I'm really not sure what this dude's big brain play was here if his dad actually did work for the police department. So, uh, whatever, dude, he gets banned, and then I had to go put all his groceries back, because obviously, like, he just rage quits out of there, he's like, ooh, whatever, this is BS, you're gonna be hearing from my dad, and just, like, shoved his cart, you know, and leaves, and on the way out, like, flips off the lady in the wheelchair, just for good measure, just so everybody knows what type of dude he is, he just, like, flips off an old lady in a wheelchair, and, uh, I'm surprised you can do that and not just spontaneously combust, but, uh, yeah, I ended up helping that old lady in her wheelchair shop for groceries and take it to the back of the parking lot with her car, and she was super cool. But, um, I've honestly never seen anybody lose it that hard over the fact that their lifted truck, which definitely does not help them get any girls needed to move, like... I'm just being honest. Is it really that necessary to park in a handicapped spot? Like, I feel like I wouldn't get that much enjoyment out of just parking in the handicapped spot. I feel like I would feel like a horrible person, but I guess that's just me. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, press the like button, comment down below, all that stuff. Be sure to get yourself some of the OG Sub Club merch. Only two days left to get it, so, uh, yeah. And uh, on that note, guys, today's notification shout out goes to the real blue 2936. Big thank you for having notifications on. I do really appreciate it. The intro song will be in the description down below. And uh, yeah, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.